I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not enough for me to say. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Don't go getting yourself shot.
I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes, sir. Uh, indeed, I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided... Oh, no. I'm... It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun.
I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less... What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still... If you'd like to see Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Sir?
Did you see a couple of guys on the road just now? They robbed me. Bastards. No, I'm not all right. They took my favorite rifle and some other stuff. I do have a pistol with me, but I've got no ammo for it and my leg is hurt. I have my reasons. I'm not thrilled about being alone, but I wasn't going to sit around in the Mojave Outpost because of it. Yes, look at this. One of them dropped it. I think they'll be going to one of these places. I want to start looking for them at the closest one. However, I have a problem. I have a pistol, but no ammo. Yes, I would be so grateful. I'd be willing to travel with you for a while. Take night watch, kill critters, stuff like that. I'm fun to have around. What do you say? Okay, and thank you so much. My name's Willow, by the way. It's nice to meet you. But please do hurry. I'm anxious to get going. Are you ready? Oh, sure, of course. Great! Listen, I want to tell you exactly what I lost, so you'll know what to look for, okay? You know about my rifle, Beauty, that's what I call her. And there are two other things, Chester, a teddy bear I've had forever, and Moira, a doll. I hope we find the toys. I'm embarrassed to admit this and know it sounds stupid, but I do love them. Thanks again for helping me. What's up? Sure, I don't. I hadn't been in the Mojave long. I'd arrived at the Mojave outpost. Of I tried to find a new companion. I. All. He got ahead of me on the trail and got the scent of the geckos. I'm not sure exactly what happened because he was ahead of me. But I heard a yelp and I came around a bend in the trail and he'd fallen off the edge of a little precipice. The geckos were below with him. By the time I got down to them and shot all the geckos, he was dead. He'd broken one of his legs in the fall and he couldn't defend himself. I, I buried him as best I could and slept there that night with him and then the next morning I said goodbye and left him forever. Sure, I don't mind. Yes, I really enjoy doing it too. I Do you cook? In that case, can I have your scavenged food? I'll give you a list of ingredients for my favorite recipes and you'll know what I need. Oh, I guess that means I assume you scavenge. You do, don't you? Doesn't everyone? And then, if we set up a campfire, I'll be able to cook my food. Great, here's a list of ingredients. I'll be happy to share the food I cook with you. Let's go. I forgot to ask. What's your name? 
Thanks again for your help.
what's up? Thank you. I promised I would travel with you if we found beauty. So, should we talk about this? Iron out some details? Hey, I'm trying to be serious here. We should probably get some things cleared up before we hit the road. I want us to get along. Yes, I can't fight with anything other than a gun. I'm lousy at anything else. Okay, I can fight with my fists if I'm cornered by a rad roach. I'd love to learn more and would be willing to study, but for now I'm pretty useless. I just wanted to be really clear about that. So don't expect me to fight with anything other than a gun, okay? I won't do it. Not with my skills the way they are now. Yeah, I read books and magazines about boxing to learn what I can. But they're hard to find. I've only ever found a couple. But if I can read enough of them, I figure eventually I'll get good enough to be able to use better weapons and kick some ass in a fight. Oh, 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 oh. You know what would be even better? If we found someone to train me. Are you any good with your fists? Oh. Well, maybe we'll find someone. no fun. I can look at them, can't I? All right. I'm willing to do that. I have something for you. It's a radio. My dad got them for me. One for me and one for whoever I was traveling with. He was worried about me going out on my own and thought this might make me that much safer. They're broken now and can only receive messages but since you have that computer with you, we'll be able to use them. You'll be able to talk to me because of it. I met someone else with one of those, and it worked great. I can't think of anything else. Let's go. What's up? I'm thrilled to have Myra back, but I'd still like to find Chester. Uh, well, yeah, I do actually. It's kind of embarrassing. I think the guy I was traveling with might have him. He was helping me carry my stuff. We parted ways at the Mojave Outpost. He was the big, strong corn. I have an idea where we might find him. He wouldn't say much about himself, but he did talk a little bit about where he was going. Well, yeah, I am. If you decide you're interested, I'll tell you everything I know about where he may be. He wouldn't say much. Apparently, he's... His name. <laughs> yeah, well, I just call him the big guy. He never told me his name in all the time we were together. Weird, isn't it? So, I guess you'll need his description. He's very tall, and he wears a cowboy hat with a... Sure, I don't mind. I like pencils. I do write in my journal. But have you noticed when you need one, it's never there? Well, if you have ten, or more, there's never a problem.
I love them. I made up the recipe for Big George, my dog, but they're so tasty I carry a bunch with me all the time. They're my favorite snack. Oh, please do. We can always make...